Okay, this video will be uh, explaining a, a, um, a project I did for the Patreons, um, the people, you know, in my Patreon membership. Um, the reason I couldn't do this video very long on YouTube is because, again, it is like 40 minutes long, but it is very, very va valuable added. Um, so if you want to check that out, please visit my Patreon. The link will be below. Um, as always, click the link, check it out. Um, so, just so I can give you a rough example, you as my YouTube followers and supporters, I did would not want to like not disclose this to you. So, but I wanted to kind of give you a rough overview, so I couldn't program it in front of you, but I can explain it. So, this was a uh, a structure text for do example. Okay, so in the for do example, what we've done is we said okay if a first scan happens right then we want to uh, we have an index right basically our index is running through one through whatever one through ten um, and we have an array this array data um, which is called profile in our case has ten um, basically it's it's ten deep as far as the array the depth of the array is 10 so whatever and so we're, we're using indirect addressing here is we're saying whatever's in the index we want to basically load into the profile okay so upon the first scan we basically say for that index we want 0 through 9 by 1 do this function we want to load in zeros into every single one of these. So what this is doing, what this this index is for index right here, zero through nine by one, what that's doing is it's actually indexing one, two, three, four, five, six, and on each one of these uh, pieces of this array indirectly through the index. Okay, so that is the first can showing that it will basically uh, reset um, all the thing, all the values in the profile array upon a first scan. Now, the next thing we did is we, we started using a one shot rising. So we used the one shot rising, we made the one shot rising bit. These are actually, and I'll show you, these are actually um, function block um, one shots. So that's again that's what you would use inside structure tech correct so um, just wanted to show you that they are function blocks so they have deeper elements than a normal um, a normal one shot would have so the one shot rising uh, we're calling the instruction right here the one shot rising we're filling it which the one shot rising uh, that the tag that we want to use right here and we're basically saying above this we're saying one shot rising dot input is going to be equal to uh, whatever the value of the uh, pro the profile fill push button. So we're saying that if the push button happens, we're basically want to turn on the input bit of the one shot fill. Now, once the one shot fill input comes in, it, it cuts on the one shot fill output bit. So we're saying if the one shot fill output bit then we want to we do, we want to do a for do, and the for is again the index uh, is equal to one through nine uh, index by one. We're going to do the profile, and the the profile is what right here. We're basically loading in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're doing that with that that equation right there. Again, it's indirect addressing. So this indirect addressing is the uh, result, if you would. This is where this is. So this is going to be loaded into this. So meaning whatever's happening with the indirect addressing, again, this is, uh, this is basically the indirect addressing minus one, and then on the outside plus one, that's going to index to the profile. So that's going to go through, and that's going to also, the sum of this is going to be equal, it's going to load in, or not equal to, but it's going to load into the indirect addressing equation right there. 
So that's going to basically, in the sum, in the sum of that, it's just going to basically index by one. Um, down here we have the same thing. We have a squaring option. We're saying if the one shot squaring again, we're we're using we're in we're introducing our instruction right here. We're basically saying this is a one shot rising, um, and we're we're saying one shot square. If the one shot square input is high, which is based upon using this um, this push button, so that push button is basically cutting on. Um, if that's high, then it's equal. It's it's the result that's going into the input. If that's the case, the input is high, then the output comes on. Then we want to do a for do. So again, that's an index uh, equal to one, two, nine by one. Do the profile down here. So it's basically, again, it's the sum of this profile. And we're basically saying the indirect addressing um, square 10. So I'll basically square it. And then come in and load that in. So. In the next instance, we want to have a clear. So we're going to say the clear push button. And again, this will be another clear one shot. So we're doing a one shot rising. And the, we're using the tag instance that we're, we're using is the one shot clear. So once the one shot uh, or the, the profile clear push button is pushed, then the uh, input bit comes high. And if the input bit's high, the output bit comes on. Then it does a for do, which in, in this case is very simple. It takes the index equal to or uh, equal uh, zero through nine by one. It's going to do so. It's going to go. It's going to index through all of the the profile, all of the the arrays uh, inside the profile, right? So there's there's ten array. So it's going to index through all of those. And it's going to load in a zero to all of those, similar to what go, is what's going on in the first scan. So real quick, I, um, being the video seven minutes into it, uh, I can show you one of these probably. Um, so what we want to do is uh, we'll cut on the fill push button, and you can see it fills one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so now with that said, we'll do the uh, clear push button so then it clears the well it clears everything now we'll do the square push button um, and not scared not sure if I have that uh, square oh yeah I know what happened okay so let's do the Okay, so now let's do the square. So you see, um, you can't square it by zero. Um, so all I was doing was basically loading in the, the profile. So uh, in that case, again, to show that it working, show that it works. Uh, in a first scan, you see there's values in there, right? There's values in inside the profile. Now we want to basically make it go a first scan. So we'll put it in program real quick. Uh, come back and put it into run mode and watch it again everything is clear so that shows that the first scan appears working and again um, if you would like to see this video how I made this logic and how everything is done in a very very detailed and um, very good understanding because I do a, um, a lot of very good training on my, my patreon um, the link is below. Uh, check that out. Um, you know, it's it's not very very much at all. It's like a cup of coffee a month. Um, so you, and you don't really have to give give that. I mean, I'm just saying it, it's just it's basically supporting my efforts doing training. And the more people that I get in that group, the better the training gets, and the more that, you know I'm trying to get off of the Udemy platform and get onto a better platform so, so I can build better training for everybody. Um, honestly, the, the quality is a lot better. I use Vimeo, so the, the quality of the videos are, I mean, it's like, you, it really is a, a, a lot, lot better. So it, it's 1080p, so I always record in 1080p, so it is definitely there. So 
Hopefully you stuck around to the end of the video, um, and if you did, please check out the link below. Again, go to the Patreon, check it out, see what you think. Um, I'd be glad to, um, you know, ha you know, just I mean, there's that's where you can send them submissions and requests and stuff, and um, I always answer them and always do my best to uh, provide value. So again, thank you, and hope everybody's having a good weekend. Thanks.